Today we have a very important and interesting topic about sugars and their impact on our health. We will clarify the difference between natural and added sugars and how sugar affects insulin in our body. We will also cover an exciting topic about stevia as a healthy alternative. Let's get started. First, let's talk about natural and added sugars. There is a common belief that all sugars are harmful, but this is not accurate. Natural sugars, like those found in fruits and vegetables, come with fiber, vitamins, and minerals that help regulate sugar absorption in our body. For example, when you eat grapes, you're getting sugar, but you're also getting fiber, vitamins, and minerals that help your body absorb the sugar more slowly. According to nutritional data from the USDA, grapes are one of the fruits with the highest sugar content, containing about 16 grams per 100 grams. Avocados have the least sugar, with just 0.7 grams per 100 grams. All other fruits fall somewhere between avocados and grapes in terms of sugar levels. For vegetables, beets contain the highest sugar content among vegetables, with about 7 grams per 100 grams. This is followed by corn at 6.3 grams, and then peas, which have around 5.7 grams of sugar per 100 grams. Carrots contain approximately 4.7 grams of sugar per 100 grams. Both sweet potatoes, onions, and red peppers have nearly the same sugar content, with about 4.2 grams per 100 grams. Cabbage, another common vegetable, contains around 3.2 grams of sugar per 100 gram. For vegetables with lower sugar levels, green beans contain 2.7 grams of sugar per 100 grams, and cucumbers have the least, with about 1.7 grams per 100 grams. On the other hand, added sugars include white sugar, brown sugar, and high fructose corn syrup. These sugars are added to foods and drinks and are devoid of fiber and nutrients, making them a source of empty calories. Added sugar can lead to health problems if consumed in large amounts, such as weight gain, high blood sugar levels, and tooth decay. This is why the World Health Organization recommends reducing added sugar intake to less than 10% of total daily calories, and preferably below 5%. This means about 25 grams, six teaspoons, for women, and 37.5 grams, nine teaspoons, for men per day. Let's not forget that excessive sugar consumption can also affect our mental health, as there may be a link between high sugar intake and an increased risk of depression and anxiety. It's important to clarify that eating fruits as part of a healthy diet does not cause the same problems that consuming large amounts of added sugar does. So, if you are on a diet and eat grapes or other fruits, don't worry about the natural sugars they contain. Insulin is a hormone secreted by the pancreas that helps regulate blood sugar levels. When we eat, carbohydrates are digested and converted into glucose, which enters the bloodstream. Insulin, then, helps transport glucose from the blood into the cells for energy. When we consume large amounts of added sugar, the pancreas has to secrete large amounts of insulin to handle the rapid rise in blood sugar levels. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Now, let's talk about stevia. Stevia is a natural and healthy alternative to added sugar extracted from the stevia plant. This plant is native to South America, particularly Paraguay and Brazil, where indigenous peoples used it to sweeten foods and drinks. Stevia has become well known in recent decades, especially in Japan, where companies began using it as a sweetener after health concerns about artificial sweeteners arose. What makes stevia special is that it does not raise blood sugar levels, making it an excellent choice for people with diabetes. Stevia does not require insulin to be metabolized, meaning it does not cause sharp spikes in insulin levels. It also has very low calories, helping in weight management. Besides, stevia contains antioxidant compounds that provide additional health benefits. Stevia comes in various forms, such as powder, liquid, and tablets. It can be used to sweeten hot and cold drinks and in baking and cooking. It is important to read the instructions on the package to adjust the quantity correctly since stevia is much sweeter than regular sugar. To clarify, there are two main types of stevia powder, green and white. Let's start with green stevia powder. Made from dried and ground stevia leaves, retaining more of the natural components of the stevia plant. It has a green color 
and a more pronounced herbal taste, often used in natural and organic recipes. White Stevia Powder, a highly refined and processed form of stevia that removes most of the plant material, leaving behind a concentrated sweetener. It appears as a white powder and is commonly used in baking, cooking, and as a general sweetener for beverages. Some stevia products are more concentrated than others, meaning you may need a much smaller amount to achieve the same sweetness level. For example, if you use pure stevia powder, a teaspoon might equal a cup of regular sugar. So, if you buy stevia and don't find the expected sweetness, the reason might be the difference in concentration. Did you know that you can also grow stevia at home? You can start it from seed or buy it as a plant. To make stevia leaf powder at home, harvest and dry the leaves completely. Then, grind them into a fine powder. Using blender or mortar and pestle. Store the powder in an airtight container and use it to sweeten beverages and foods. For a liquid extract, soak fresh stevia leaves in high-proof alcohol for 24 to 48 hours. Strain the liquid, then heat it gently to evaporate some of the alcohol. Store the extract in a dark glass bottle in the refrigerator and use it as a sweetener. To make stevia simple syrup, boil fresh stevia leaves in water for 15 to 20 minutes, then strain the liquid. Store the syrup in the refrigerator and use it to sweeten drinks and recipes. Reducing added sugar intake can be challenging, especially if you're used to consuming it. But there are steps that can help. Reading food labels, choosing natural and unprocessed foods, and replacing sugary drinks with water or unsweetened tea. Stevia can also help as a healthy alternative. It is important to know how to read food labels to understand the amount of added sugar in the products we buy. Look for words like sucrose, fructose, glucose, and high fructose corn syrup, as these all indicate types of added sugar. Share your experiences with reducing sugar intake and how it affected your health in the comments. Have you tried using stevia? Let us know your thoughts. To summarize, it is important to understand the differences between natural sugars found in fruits and added sugars we consume daily, and the role of insulin in regulating blood sugar levels. Stevia offers a healthy alternative that can help improve the quality of the diet without sacrificing taste. If you're excited to try Stevia, explore a wide range of Stevia products available in our store on Amazon. Simply click the link in the description below to make a purchase and support our channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends.